Welcome. Today I'm giving you a little snapshot, a little video, an insight into my daily life. My daily life means that I have to wear these. Can you guess what they are? They are leashes. Leashes for a dog. These, you know doctors wear stethoscopes. I wear dog leashes. And I take my dogs on a walk every day, unless it's freezing cold or pouring down with rain. And uh, so I call it, um, I call this video Daily Dog Walk. Now you might think, well, Daily Dog Walk, he's going to refer back to something spectacular that happened on this dog walk of his a couple of months ago, maybe a year ago. No, I'm not doing that. I don't do that. It's stale bread. What I'm going to start with is today. Today, yes, actually today. I took my dogs out as usual and uh, my wife says to me, where are you going? Well, I've got a variety of dog walks I can do. I can go to what I call the fields, that's amongst the vines. And I know if I go amongst the vines, I'm likely to meet Didier or other people I know out there who uh, was healed of a shoulder problem and so on. I know various people on that walk. And I pass various gardens and say hello to Rene and, and others and make comments and so on. And encourage them and also challenge them. And, um, but today I didn't go to the fields, I went to the, what's called the breeze fir, the fire break. And the fire break is a big gravel path between two lots of uh, trees, and it's there, obviously, to break fire, if fire breaks out. So, my wife says to me, where are you going? I say, I don't know. <laughs> I had no idea. I turn out the gate, I turn left out the gate, and then I just follow the Holy Spirit. And I, I just heard, go and see how that building is going on along the breeze first. So I did, and they're making a building, and, uh, and I wanted to see how it is progressing. Now, along the way, I meet various people, and I saw a couple, well, in fact, six people, who turned out to be uh, an older man and his wife, and they're two boys, and they're married, they're both boys are married, so they're daughters-in-law, or the other way around. Anyway, family of six, and a tiny little dog about this big, a chihuahua. Now, this chihuahua, <laughs> they're noisy little creatures, uh, they're like little foxes, and uh, Heidi, my Jack Russell, went straight for it, sniffed it, and so on. Two females together, I thought, this could be problematical. You know, two female dogs together, uh, uh, could, could cause a fight. Anyway, it didn't, and I got talking, and the women, uh, the women moved ahead, the, uh, the mother, uh, in other words, the older man's wife, and uh, the two daughters, or daughters-in-law, they moved ahead with a pram and uh, I stayed talking to the to the men to the uh, older man and his two sons and uh, I said to them uh, do you do you live in this village I, they said yeah we do and I said well I've never seen you before no we've not met before but uh, uh, they said to me well what do you do I said well I'm a pastor and they said rude pastor because this they named the streets strangely here in front root of the pastor and I said no no I'm not made of concrete and bricks I'm, I'm a human being no no I am a pastor not I live in the root of pasta we cleared that one up and uh, they got used to my accent a little bit and they said well what do you do do you have a church I said well I meet people and on my promenade which is the dog walk um, I pray for the sick and heal the sick and the man looked at me and he, he said you heal the sick I said yeah I said, well, God heals, uses these hands, you know, these hands may look normal to you, but they're, you know, they're my car, they're my, my car, they're my, they're my jump leads, that's the English for it, my jump leads. And I just touch people, command the pain or the illness to go in the name of Jesus, and they get healed. Well, he was gobsmacked, and uh, he said, well, I've got intense pain in my hip. Now, my wife has been battling hip pain for quite a number of years, and slowly we've been learning how to eliminate uh, this hip pain. And it's been quite a process. So we're still going through a course to do it. And I said, well, hip pain, no problem at all. So he's, he's, I said, can I touch your hip? He said, yeah. So I just touched his hip, fingertips. I said, hip pain in the name of Jesus, go. Spirit of infirmity, go in Jesus' name. And uh, I, I said, okay, now stamp your leg, stamp the foot, because I've just prayed for that side. And he stamped his foot, and I said, now, where's the pain gone? Is it hiding behind the hedge over there, or did it disappear off somewhere? Where is it? Do you know where it is? And he didn't, he didn't understand me. 
And he said, but I don't have it anymore. I said, no, it's gone, isn't it? He said, yeah, it's gone. He, he didn't know what to say. He was absolutely amazed and uh, amazed in a very nice way. And he, he said, well, wow, that is amazing. I said, no, it's not amazing. That's just normal. His two boys said, where do you live? We'd like to come and see you, you know. So I told him my address and they noted it on their phone. And they said, wow, I said, problems of finance, problems of health. I said, the covenant, you see that? That's a covenant. I'm married. This is uh, my wedding ring, alliance with my wife. I said, but God made an alliance or a covenant in the, in the blood of Christ. And that covenant covers everything. Health problems, as you've just seen. Financial problems, well, he has pricked up at that with the boys, I think. And relationship problems, well, they seem to be getting on as a family okay, but health and finance. I said, Jesus paid for it all with one sacrifice. And I said, if you want to know more, here's my address. They took a note of my address and put it on their phone. And uh, they went off, uh, you know, still stunned, I suppose, was the... Uh, <laughs> would be the best adjective I'm trying to think of an adjective what they but they were very very happy now and that is just normal that's not unusual and uh, my wife and I uh, uh, used the word bubble she said why were you so long bubble I hit a bubble the presence of God came down like a bubble and I just ministered to the people who God had put in my path he directs our feet says in the Psalms so I don't need to where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where the rendezvous is. I don't know where the meeting is. I just follow the Holy Spirit. And those who are the true sons of God, Romans 8, 14, are led by the Holy Spirit. Now, that's just an example. I'm not boasting. I'll just tell you what happened today. And I hope it encourages you to be a witness to the living Christ.